I really wanted to come up with something that we hadn't seen before, knowing that it was gonna be the last season. Obviously, we wanted to have as much fun as possible. <laughs> Noah has really given us exactly what he wants. It's great to work with a filmmaker who loves practical stuff. It probably comes off as more real doing it in camera rather than adding a CGI element. There are things we cannot do completely practical. The biggest piece we built was this giant, enormous 20-foot pig. We have to do a practical, and then they get visually affected in post to kind of blend some of the scenes. The uh, devil with the yellow eyes and then the new version, which is the skinny devil, we call him. We come across the character 30 years before it's been feeding off David's soul, so it's skinny. So it's all the skin that would be fat in the future is now deflated and like ropes of skin hanging off of him. Between what we did and then VFX, I've never seen this before and let's do it. Another crazy idea out of Noah's head that we bring to life. We have these new characters, the Time Eaters. It was one more thing to be super creative about, try something that most people would say, no, I don't want to do that, let's just do it digital. I <laughs> do not like that. It was a digital effect, but done practical. System, re system reboot required. Autonomy and the crazy city thing. And there's a thing that Noah came up with, and Jeremy was so patient with it all because we had to have him cut his hair very, very short, and we brought him in for life casting, and, and uh, it's a full custom silicone bald cap. I'm getting this prosthetic on makeup for about two hours every day. And all these transfers that made all the, the seams around his face and everything, and we had on top of his head a big magnet piece on a, on a vacuum form. And then the, the uh, little city was in pieces. It would magnet on, click, 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 click. That way we could take it off in between takes. We even built a full replica of him that has the whole inner workings of the head and then the face that magnets on, and then we cut to Jeremy in the makeup. We had a big thing at the end with Lenny where she ends up slitting her throat, then taken over by all these trees, and we did a whole series of makeups on her. She laid down in the tree. I thought it would be great to just take pieces of her hair and take them with the roots and take pieces of extension and then wind them around the roots so it looked like the tree and the roots, you know, were taking her hair up. I mean, that's what we do. That we want things to be tangible. It just adds to the texture of the show and the storytelling and. You get amazing performances when you have real stuff everywhere. Oh, now you're listening. The sets are amazing, the costumes are amazing. To me, it's one of the coolest things on television. It was stuff that we had never done before. It makes it cool, you know, it makes it exciting because we really have to think outside the box. Everything's outside the box on this show. Mommy.